Hello everybody, I'm Edward Quinteros. I'm working for the National Institute of Health in El Salvador. In this occasion, I will present a research called Natural and Anthropogenic Pollution in San Luis Talpa, El Salvador. In this investigation, the research team of NIH work with Dr. Dina Lopez from Ohio University. Heavy metals pollution has become a serious widespread problem in many parts due to the effect they have on human and environmental health. Some effects of heavy metals in health are renal tubular dysfunction, aortic and coronary atherosclerosis, alveolar damage, and various cancer. Well, some effects of heavy metals in environmental are death of aquatic species, saturation pollution, atmospheric pollution, and modification of chemical properties soil. Soil and water of El Salvador have high heavy metals concentration for natural sources related to volcanic barrel and hydrothermal fluid and from anthropic sources like industrial waste, municipal waste, and some agrochemical residues. Salvadorian soil are former or are derived for volcanic process. In El Salvador, agriculture is a major livelihood activities in rural areas. The application of pesticides in agricultural crops is uncontrolled. Many of pesticides applied are banned around the world. Some of these products have impurities in its composition like heavy metals. Thus, rural soils usually present a double burden of heavy metals content, one from natural sources and other related to agricultural activities. This study was performed in Loma del Gallo community, a rural community located in San Luis Talpa municipality in the Department of La Paz in the coastal area of El Salvador. Loma del Gallo is a low-income community with high prevalence of chronic kidney disease and with partially basic service. This community limits the north with a form pesticide factory known as Kimagro, a southern limit with large areas of sugarcane crops. Between the Kimagro factory and the community there is only literal rot. Nowadays, among the ring of Kimagro factory, there is a warehouse where several tons of agrochemical products are stored in dangerous conditions. The pesticides were abandoned 13 years ago. Currently, the Ministry of Environmental of El Salvador is taking the necessary measure from the removal of these toxic elements. This work aims to characterize the cadmium, chromium, copper, zinc, and arsenic pollution in Loma del Cayo community in groundwater, sediment, and soil. Sampling of surface water and sediment was conducted in the area covered by the red rectangle. Soil sampling was carried out in the entire area of black rectangle and groundwater sampling was conducted in the area market with green figures. The sampling was performed between November 2013 and March 2014 in the dry season. The sampling was dense. 60 samples of soil, 16 samples of sediment, 29 samples of water. This was divided in superficial water, 15 samples, and groundwater 14 samples were collected. All samples were transported to the National Reference Laboratory for chemical analysis. The samples were analyzed through atomic absorption spectroscopy using flame and graphite furnace. All the samples was referenced with GPS and were stored in a database. The results of laboratory were implemented in database now, I will present the preliminary result obtained in this investigation. There is high contents of arsenic in soil. Arsenic concentration in soil are widespread in the Kimaro factory area 
and the lands located at northern side of littoral rod. The maximum concentration of arsenic was 11.18 mg per kilogram. This value is close to the limit established by the Canadian normative for farming soil, which is 12 mg per kilogram. The average of result is 4.73 mg per kilogram and the standard deviation of 3.02. According to this result, arsenic contamination could be related to natural sources, as the area with higher value of arsenic is situated at north of the littoral rod. At north of littoral rod were the soil used in related to familiar agriculture and forest. The reduction of arsenic in the south of littoral rod is characterized by large-scale sugar cane cultivation, may be due to the absorption of arsenic by sugarcane crops. Sugarcane samples were taken and analyzed in the three sections, root, stem, and leaf. The graph show that arsenic is being absorbed by sugarcane. Arsenic is found in greater amount in the root crops. However, artificial source linked to agrochemical also have to be considered. Chromium pollution are focus in former factory soil. The maximum value of chromium is 1,221 mg per kilogram. It is 19 times higher than the limit established by the Canadian normative, which is 64 mg per kilogram. Other high points are focus in the community in the field crops area. Chromium pollution is clearly related to the activities performed many years ago in the Kemauro factory, as the highest point of chromium was found in the factory area. Other maximum areas located in the community could be related with agricultural activities and housing waste. Copper pollution are focused in former industrial soil and the cropping areas. The max value found is 49.14 mg per kilogram. This value is under the standard established by the Canadian normative. Cadmium is widespread in the housing soil and in the agricultural areas close to the community. The max value found is 0.6 mg per kilogram. This value is under the standard established by the Canadian normative. The cadmium will be related with the human activities because the area with high content is located in the former factory and in the community. The copper is related with the activity has been in the Kemauro factory and with the agricultural activities. Land is widespread in the housing soil and in the agricultural areas close to the community. The maximum value is 39.92 mg per kilogram. This value doesn't exist the Canadian normative and is located in the center of the community. This could be related to car emissions. Zinc is widespread in the housing soil and in the agricultural areas close to the community. The max value is 500 51.3 mg per kilogram located in the center of the community. This value falls the limit established by the Canadian normative, which is 200 mg per kilogram. Other high points are located in a house area. Another point is located in the Kemauro soil. The sink pollution could be related with different human activities. Well, the results obtained in groundwater show that the highest concentration of arsenic is 0.01 mg per kilogram in the way located in the Kemauro factory. This value is equal to the limit of the Salvadoran normative for drinking water. The way located in the Kemauro factory was used as the main source of water for the all activities in the factory. The hardest groundwater is found in the community and in the former factory. Some studies have shown that the hardness and arsenic are related with the prevalence of chronic kidney disease. Considering that the source 
of drinking water is groundwater that would be direct risk for chronic kidney disease. About the result in surficial water, the high concentration of arsenic found was 0.02 mg per liter in water were obtained in the rivers of this region, which represents a risk for the aquatic life. The limit of arsenic in fresh water for aquatic life established by Canadian guideline is 0.005 mg per liter. The 18% of the sample have a value for the limit established by the Canadian normative. The arsenic pollution is spread in all the sampling area. This pollution could be related with the high arsenic concentration in soil in north of the Kimagro. The arsenic in river could be related erosional process. High cadmium concentration have been obtained software of community with a river growth sewer king file. This concentration is higher than the limit established by the Canadian guidelines. All the samples with value close to the limit or higher than it were located in the sewer king cropping area. The cadmium pollution seems to be related to the agricultural activities. This table shows the statistical summary of the old result previously shown. In sufficient water, the maximum value of arsenic and cadmium exceed the limit established by the international normative. In soil, the maximum value of chromium and zinc exceed the limit established by the Canadian normative too. In conclusion, the soil of the northern part of the littoral road presents high concentration of arsenic. Soil of the Kimaro area have high chromium values that exceed the permissible limit by international standard for farming soils. Cadmium, lead, and zinc are focused in the housing soil and in the agricultural areas close to the community. The highest value of arsenic in groundwater is located in the former pesticide factory wall. This value is in the limit for the drinking water. And finally, all surface water samples contain high level of arsenic. Most samples contain values higher than the limit for aquatic life. All samples collected at soil of Loma del Gallo community have values of cadmium that exceed the limit for aquatic life. Natural source like volcanic derived soil and especially anthropic source like in mangrove factory waste and agricultural activities are responsible of dangerous level of heavy metal pollution in Loma del Gallo community. Thank you very much.